Hi everyone. It's uh, Mohit Bansal. Today we are going to talk about isolation forest in brief, and uh, we'll just stick to completion part of it. So isolation forests are typically used in anomaly detections, and by definition, anomalies are few and far. Okay, so essentially, what anomalies mean? Let's say I have some data like this. Okay, so the point over here is not following the distribution of other points, and uh, we generally term it as outlier. So how does isolation forest or isolation tree to start with helps achieve that? So the idea is that uh, to identify how many splits it takes to isolate a particular point and that's nothing but uh, the score of isolation and we'll see it uh, quickly. So let's say these are my data points and uh, in the first go I randomly put a uh, boundary over here okay so that's the uh, first part of it now in the second split it will split on both the sides and uh, probably somewhere here so we can see that it took just two splits to identify or isolate outlier in this case let's see some more example let's say i have uh, more data points okay and let's say this time I have two outliers one is at minimum side one is at maximum side so typically as we start with we take difference of minimum and maximum and choose a point between them randomly so let's say I have chosen this point okay now on both the sides i'll have to choose a point somewhere here this is on right hand side points and this is on the left hand side point so i hope the idea is clear that it takes a lower number of steps to isolate a point which is out there so if i keep on continuing this split let's consider just the right hand side part of it so then i'll make a point over here then i'll split it somewhere here somewhere here and so on the points which are not outliers they will take a lot of steps or a lot of splits to get themselves isolated so that's the idea behind the isolation forest let's see one more example Now let's say my points are uh, second. It looks fine. So now let's say my points are located somewhere like this. So earlier we talked about a case where there was only a single dimension. But now let's say I have two dimensions and points are distributed something like this. And as you can clearly say that the point over here is outlier and we are trying to isolate if i just see the x axis over here then this point is not really outlier because on x axis it will fall somewhere here similarly if i just take y axis then it will fall somewhere here and it won't be outlier on that particular axis as well but if i consider both the axis or both the dimensions together then i can see that this particular point it's an outlier in fact and that's a common misconception among at least in uh, anti-level data scientists that uh, outlier can occur only in single column rather it's a combination of the features which makes a point outlier. okay so now let's split let's say first i take x-axis or uh, the variable which is there on x-axis and let's say randomly i select a point over here and make a split similarly on y axis i can make a split over here and we can see that in just two splits the point got isolated 
So idea is simple in our isolation tree. Whenever you build a tree, it takes lower number of splits or lower path length to isolate a outlier point rather than the normal point the distribution. Okay, so that's about isolation tree. And uh, as you are already aware what random forests are, so we'll just quickly convert the concept of isolation tree to isolation forest. Now let's say similar to random forest, we build a lot of trees and uh, we then try to see how my trees are growing and it sees all uh, random data, random features, very similar to random forest. And uh, when you want to see whether a point is particular, I particularly I apply or not, we traverse through all the trees and uh, see where that point is falling in. Okay, so for this example, let's say there was a point, it took a path length of one, here it took a path length of two, a path length of two. So on an average, it took somewhere around five by three as a step length, considering all that trees in the forest. So this kind of becomes the isolation score. The lower it is, higher the probability of a point being an outlier. So thanks for watching, guys. That's what about isolation forest, which I wanted to discuss. Thank you.